Hi guys, it's Saab here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make heavenly, luscious lemon bars. These are so good and so easy to make. I'm sure there are hundreds of lemon bar recipes out there, but guess what? You guys haven't tried mine yet. Keep watching and I'll show you guys what you'll need to do next. In my mixing bowl here, I have two sticks of unsalted cubed softened butter. I'm going to use my hand mixer today and I'm just going to beat this until it's all nicely dispersed within my mixing bowl. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Next, you want to add in a third of a cup of granulated sugar and just evenly spread that within the bowl. Turn the mixer back on and beat this for about 30 more seconds. Then you want to grate in the zest of two whole lemons. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And last, two cups of all-purpose flour. With my hand mixer, I'm just going to mix this again just until combined or crumbly. I have a 13 by 9 glass baking dish with some foil fitted inside, ungreased. Go ahead and add in all of your crust mixture. Make sure to evenly spread out your crust mixture before you begin to pat it down. It's just a lot easier to make your crust nice and even and flat. Now my trick here before starting is I sprinkle a little bit of all-purpose flour. That way before I begin to pat it down, none of that softened butter will stick to my fingers. Don't forget to pat down on the sides and right there against the outer edges. When you're all done, bake in your preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the edges are slightly browned. So my crust is about to be done in about 5 minutes. Now I can go ahead and start with my filling. In my large mixing bowl, I have here 6 large eggs. To that, I'm adding in some castor sugar, 2 cups minus, okay, minus 2 tablespoons of castor sugar or else it's just too sweet for me. I'm going to sift in 3 quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Add in a quarter teaspoon of salt and whisk this mixture until almost nice and smooth. I'm going to add the lemon juice at the very end when everything just is about to come together. And finally, in goes my lemon juice. You're going to whisk this until nice and smooth. And it's very important that you pour this lemon mixture onto the hot crust as soon as it comes out. Give your filling a quick stir and pour it onto the hot or warm crust is fine as well. Lower your oven temp to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for about 20 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes and I'll show you what it'll look like when you see. Wiggle the pan, there's a little jiggle in the middle there. That is the perfect time to take out your lemon bars and the rest will set on its own. Once this cools down, I'm going to place it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Technically, I did it overnight, which is even better. And the foil should come off pretty easily at this point. When your lemon bars come to room temp, you can go ahead and dust the whole thing with powdered sugar. It's starting to come together and it's just so beautiful and was so easy to make. Now to get the perfect lemon bar squares, all you have to do is dip your knife into some very hot water and wipe off the excess and just begin to cut out your squares. I could show you the whole process, but um, it's not rocket science, so I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out on your own. Look at that. They're so perfect, so beautiful. And just keep in mind, if you use store-bought eggs instead of fresh, cage-free, your filling will not be as bright and uh, vibrant as mine. Look at this. Look how adorable and cute this is. Mm. This is the perfect balance of sweetness to tartness. It has a nice yummy shortbread crust on the bottom. This recipe was so easy to put together. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye!